this on-chain wallet tutorial you will see how this wallet works including connect, earn, withdraw and I will answer the questions that you and other people have been asking about this wallet. Some of you have used scam wallets so make sure you will download the right on-chain wallet on the Google Play Store, Apple Store or whatever device you are using. It has more than 1 million downloads and tens of thousands of positive reviews. And before I show you the details of using this official on-chain wallet, let me quickly walk you through how a typical scam works so you will be safe. If somebody contacts you on social media such as Telegram, Instagram, Facebook and they offer you a great opportunity, you should be careful. There are a lot of impersonators of me and other successful YouTubers. But keep in mind that I only reply to you here on the YouTube comment section and also in my official Telegram group that I link in the description below the video. I will not send you private messages offering some great opportunities. Those are from impersonators. After those people contact you on social media, they offer big returns, usually something like invest a little, gain a lot, then they ask you to send them crypto, but when you try to withdraw, they say lies such as pay even more to unlock your funds or deposit 50% to release funds or pay tax first for us etc etc. They have all kinds of reasons that you would send them money but you should never even reply to any of those people offering such opportunities. Only focus on using the real and official on-chain wallet that you will open clicking right here. Notice that when you create your own on-chain wallet, nobody does it on your behalf. You create it yourself. When you click here add a new wallet, then you can click here create a new wallet. You click here to agree terms and service and you can see success your wallet is created. You can back it up now by clicking this or you can continue into your wallet like this. So it's not some random person on social media who creates the wallet for you. You create it yourself and that's also one of the main benefits of the on-chain wallet. You will have a better control of your funds and you don't need to rely on other people. You can see here that you can create as many wallets as you want. Let me show you here with this wallet 2 example. You can also edit wallet name by clicking here and let's put here YouTube example save and you can see right now we have renamed the wallet. Next I will show how you can connect this to crypto.com app because many of you have been asking it. You can click right here in the top corner and of course you want to back up your wallet by clicking here. But if you want to connect with the crypto.com app you can do it by clicking this one. And here it explains the main benefits. Specifically you can do easier transfers between your wallet and a crypto.com app because you will not need to copy paste addresses but keep in mind you will still need to pay typically a small fee for transfer if you withdraw funds from the wallet to the app or vice versa. The main drawback is of course a potential lack of privacy if your wallet is connected with crypto.com. That being said let me go through the steps. You tap the boxes right here, you click here connect the wallet and here you will enter your crypto.com account email. I will write it here and then I will click here send connection email. After typing your email here and clicking send it says you will receive an email with instructions on how to proceed with connection. And in the email it says to proceed with the connection please tap the connect button within two hours after your request or else the link would expire. So then you simply click this blue connect button. Next you will enter your crypto.com app passcode right here to move forward. 
Next it says here authorized connection, information to be shared wallet address. So this is what I said when I mentioned that the main drawback is a potential lack of privacy because crypto.com will see your wallet address. Then you click here authorized connection and you can see connection successful with my YouTube example wallet. You can now transfer funds between your crypto.com on-chain wallet and crypto.com app account. I click here, got it. Let's go back to the wallet and you can see here, we are on the wallet section. Some of you ask it how to add tokens on the Kronos on-chain wallet. Because at the moment you can see in this YouTube example wallet, there is only Binance coin BNB. So where to find the other tokens? First of course, if you are on the home page, you click for wallet and then you click this manage button. Then you can type here on the search token bar, the token name that you want to add. For example, I have now written USDT and you can see here USDT in many different chains. For example, USDT in Ethereum chain. If you want to add it, you tap this box right here and it has been added. Same with Kronos chain, you click here and it adds them immediately. Here you can also find the list and you will find many different tokens that you can add with a couple of clicks of a button. If I click here for X and I refresh the page, you can see I have added Tether USDT on multiple different chains on Ethereum, Solana and Kronos. Keep in mind that it may take a few moments to update on your wallet. So you can simply hold your screen like this and click refresh and then you should be able to see the coins that you have added here. When you want to deposit coins into your wallet, you can click here receive. Then you can choose which chain you want to use. You can see here that it supports many different chains, Bitcoin, Solana, Dogecoin chain. Here, if you click this one, you can see also BNB Smart Chain address, Kronos address and so on. I have shown you the deposit process also in my previous crypto.com on-chain tutorials on my playlist right here. This seemed to be the easy part for you because you haven't asked much questions about it. The earn section also seems to be clear to you according to the comment section. You understand that here you can stake different tokens and potentially earn some APR, so interest with your coins. However, you have understood two biggest risks here. The first risk is of course the protocol risk. So no matter what protocol you use, you can see here Ferro protocol, Cosmos staking, H2 finance and many other ones. When you type on Google biggest crypto web tree hacks or decentralized exchange or blockchain hacks, you will quickly know this that many of the blockchains have been hacked over the years and in total billions of dollars have been lost. So even though some of these chains are decentralized by name, they may still be hacked. And then of course the second risk is the coin value risk because most of the altcoins lose their value over time against Bitcoin. So that's why instead of using this crypto.com on-chain wallet earn, I like to use this crypto earn on the crypto.com app because here you are able to use it even with BTC, which is Bitcoin decentralized cryptocurrency. The next question you have asked regarding trading was, where is the token I just swapped to? I don't see it. So first let me show you how to do the swap and the trading here. And then I will show how you can see the coins. I will open here the primary wallet. Then I will click here in the middle. I will click here swap and bridge. Now I will trade some of my BNB into USDT. You can see here I have zero USDT at the moment. I will choose here 0.01. Then it automatically calculates that I will be able to get six and a half USDT. I click here review swap and then I will click here confirm swap, verify the fingerprint and you can see it's swapping right now. Let me go back and check out my wallet. You can see that in the beginning the swap wasn't performed, but when I stayed here for a few seconds, the USDT has arrived. So that's the first solution. You may need to wait a moment. 
even though it usually just takes a few seconds as you saw in my case. But the second reason may be that you need to add the token right here. Let me click here for manage. And here again, you notice that you can add these tokens. For example, here Ripple XRP, if I go back, I cannot see it here on my list. So this may have happened to you because you didn't see your token. So you simply come to manage, then I tap this for Ripple and you can see what happens. It appears right here. And same also if I click manage again, you can see here Polygon. If I tap this one and I go back, you can see it appears here. So that's how you can change your view right here and you can make sure that you will see the tokens that you swap. You can see here that I have zero Dogecoin and zero Airgo. So if I click here manage, I'm able to get rid of them on my page. I click here away, go away Dogecoin. Then let's go back and you can see they disappear. So now I have more focused view. Then you sometimes ask questions about the gas fee. For example, you said, why am I being asked for gas fees in another token? Perhaps you were trying to withdraw USDT and you were asked to have the gas fee in BNB. And the reason is that the gas fee depends on the network that you are using. For example, if you are withdrawing USDT in BNB Smart Chain, then you need to have BNB. If you are using Ethereum network, you need to have ETH. If you are using Polygon network, you need to have Pol. If you are using Solana network, you need to have Sol. So it always depends on the network that you are using. Let me give you a simple withdrawal example. I will go back to my YouTube example wallet and here is the Binance coin BNB. And I will transfer the money into my crypto.com app account here in the crypto. If I click here, I don't have BNB at the moment. So you will see the process. You click here send and then you choose the coin. Notice also one thing here that sometimes when they do wallet updates or something, they may change this wording. So at the moment sent means withdraw, receive means deposit, but they may change a specific word even though the function would stay the same. Then I click here Binance coin and here we can choose the network. Notice here that I have Binance coin in BNB smart chain, not in Ethereum network. But if you would want to send currencies in Ethereum network, then you would need to have ETH for those gas fees. I will choose here BNB Smart Chain and you can see here Crypto.com app connected. So I click that one and it automatically fills out the address here. So I don't need to copy paste or go back and forth between these apps because I have already connected. Then I simply click here next. I can choose the amount. I click here max amount. I click here send. And you can see here the estimated network fee is 0.00001 BNB. Estimated time is only 30 seconds. I click here confirm to send. I verify my fingerprint. It says pending. You can click here on the bottom to view details. We will come back when the withdrawal has gone through. A few moments later. You can see here that even though the wallet still says pending, the withdrawal has indeed come through. Because when I open the crypto.com app, you can see here the money has already been deposited. And we can also verify it by clicking this X button on the on-chain wallet. Then you can see I have around zero Binance coin left. And here you can see also the proof zero left because it has been transferred into my crypto.com app. And now I can use it here on the crypto.com app, for example, to trade it by clicking here sell. Let me trade it into Bitcoin by choosing BNB max. I click here sell BNB. I click here confirm. I verify the fingerprint. And you can see I have successfully sold my BNB to get more BTC. Now, do you want to learn more in detail how to use the crypto.com app, including my favorite, Crypto Earn? Crypto.com Visa card 
and here if you go into home and click these three lines you will find also missions and reward sections and much more i have created for you 69 video tutorials helping you to use crypto.com app step by step and you will get access to them for 100 percent free right here you can simply take one of your fingers right now click right here in the corner and you will learn to use crypto.com app step by step